In this video, we'll discuss how to specifically remove soil pixels from field imagery so that we can make calculations of vegetation index information of plants alone without that influence of the surrounding soil. We're going to do that in QGIS. Now in previous tutorials, we've covered how you can make a classification layer that has a one value for the canopy pixels and a zero for soil. So we've already discussed um, how to make a raster image that shows plants as, as like white and soil as black um, or ones and zeros, uh, which is usually represented as black and white. Um, and so in this video, we're going to open QGIS and go to the raster calculator. And what we want to do here is make the canopy values for a vegetation index the same as what they originally were, and then just completely eliminate soil pixels. So not just a zero, because then if we try to get an average NDVI value or average uh, vegetation index of a plot, the soil values could kind of influence that. We just want to eliminate those entirely and say, what's the NDVI of the plot? Um, so we want NAs or just no data at all in those. And so the raster calculator can be used to do that. Now, one way to create NAs is to divide by zero. So we know that we already have a vegetation index layer. In this case, I'm going to show this with excess green. Um, and we can click excess green. And then what we're going to do is divide that by our threshold layer. And when this goes through pixel by pixel across the image and it encounters a plant, say that that original value was positive and pretty high. Um, if, it, if it was NDVI, it might be maybe 0.9 for a very healthy plant. And then it'll divide by one because that's what's in our threshold layer because it's a plant. So yes, plant, that's a one. So 0.9 divided by one. But if it then goes to a soil pixel and say the NDVI value maybe would be like 0.1, then it divides by zero and you get no data and it eliminates it. So let's try that out. Just excess green divided by threshold. Let me just name this. I usually will call this something like in my own notation, M stands for masked and then M E X G that's excess green. Uh, that's fine. And then let's calculate that. And we can, in the meantime, hide these other layers. And what we want to see is clear uh, for the soil pixels and then some kind of color information for the, uh, the NDVI, or sorry, the, the vegetation index uh, data. And so sure enough, that's what it looks like I'm seeing. And I can click here, for example, to get the uh, true color image in that background. And that looks pretty good to me. You can see that we have these dark values um, and covering up our plants. And so what that's showing is that this new mask layer, it has data for the vegetation index data for the plants, but it has no information and therefore it's clear. There's just nothing there, no data um, for the soil. And so I can use this little inspector tool and click here. And again, it's important that I'm still selecting masked excess green. And sure enough, I do have relatively high values for excess green there. And then here I should get no data. That's perfect. That's exactly what we want to see. And so now what we can do is we can um, use a grid, which we've discussed how to set this up in another video. And we can start downloading our data using the zonal statistics tool. Um, and that's also discussed in another video. And so then now you have just the vegetation index information from your plants without soil, and you can download it to your plot files. Hope this has been useful for you. I'll see you next time.